video 7 in a 10 part series on Sugarbytes Aprilo. This video is going to focus on envelopes. Now why would simple ADSR envelopes need their own video? Well there's a few things that make these different. Mainly, each of the attack, decay, sustain and release can all have the voice modulation applied. Let's jump straight to the envelope page. You'll notice we have two on either side and the ARP and LFO section in the middle for convenience. The one on the right is your amplitude envelope and the one on your left is your modulation envelope. Pretty straightforward stuff, but let me go ahead and show you why having voice modulation control for each of the envelope phases can create some wild variation. First I'm going to go ahead and load up the initial preset. Pretty boring so far. But let's go ahead and apply the modulation envelope as the source of the voices modulation for the FM slider of operator 1. And while we're at it, let's also apply it to the voices of the ratio and switch it to quantize ratio mode. As you'd expect, the two faders are moving in time to what we see when we move over to the envelope page. So now let's do something a bit strange. We'll bring the attack right down, so nothing but decay now. And let's add modulation to the voices of the envelope attack. I'm going to start it simple and just use a ramp up for now and bring the dial to the max. That wasn't so simple after all. Let's head back to the synth page and check out what's going on with the voices on the ratio and FM of operator 1. You'll notice that the time it takes for each voice to attack properly up until the point of decay is delayed for each voice, finally settling at the sustain level. Let's try flipping the ratio knob to bipolar, bringing the ratio fader up to its max, and bringing the modulation dial down to its minimum. Now we have some real weird voice modulation going on for each note. Let's head back over to the envelopes page and bring the modulation dial of the attack down so everything happens a bit faster. The release is still happening when I release the note, so what happens when I head over to the envelope page and apply voice modulation to the release fader in the modulation envelope? I'll choose a ramp up and crank the dial. Now when I let go, the release also releases the voices at different times. Let's move to the synth page and watch that. Let's head back to the envelopes page and try a moving modulation on the release. I'm going to choose LFO1, but before I play a note, let's open the LFO options and bring the jitter and rate up on LFO1 so we get that nice sign shape we've been working with. Now back to the envelopes page, you'll see the release going mad. Let's hit a note now. and a few octaves up. Over on the synth page, we can watch the voices doing this modulation. Alright, but what about the sustain? That should get some love too, right? So let's apply LFO2. I'll head over to the modulation of LFO2, make it super fast, give it some jitter, and I'll stick it in free mode so it doesn't re-trigger. And now let's head back to the synth page and watch the voices. So that's kind of strange. You'll notice the sustain has a different sound every time. Let's quickly move to the effects page and add a little bit of reverb just to give it some life. And while we're here, let's apply the mod envelope to the filter as well and then crank up the resonance. Now our mod envelope is giving a bunch of voices a heart attack every time it triggers. To make it even more crazy, let's go back to the synth, open up the shift, choose a whole note scale, set quantize to on, set mod envelope for the voice and bring the dial up. Now every time we hit a note we get some kind of video game power up sound with the sustain always being a different note in a whole scale. It's pretty cool right? Okay, back again to the envelopes page. Anything we do now to the mod envelope is going to drastically change the sound, so let's try playing some notes while moving the decay up and down. If we move the decay all the way to the top, 
we're going to get 10 seconds of whole note tones at different timbres playing for us. Now we're coming through a portal into another world. So back to the envelopes page, if we bring the sustain and release right down, our note now has a very small lifespan. We could add some attack to creep the sound in. There is one option we haven't used yet, and that's the AD loop mode, which is only available in the sustain modulation options. This loops the attack into K just like an LFO. So let's turn that up, bring up the release to the max, and hit a note until our sustain point is reached. And once it is, when we release, it has a final burst of crazy before fading away. At the moment, it sounds quite majestic because we're using a whole note scale, but what about if we try some other scales? So over to the synth page, opening up the shift options, let's choose a minor scale. And just for fun, let's head over to the effects page and give it some delay. I don't think that delay really cuts it, so I'm gonna set the spatializer to large, bring the mix up to 100%, and bring the feedback up to 90%. Finally, back to the envelope page, there's two things I haven't talked about. First, each envelope has a simple velocity button, so the force in which you play the note will affect the envelope accordingly. Secondly, there's a unison polyphon switch. All this time we've been using unison mode, which occupies all 12 voices, however if we set it to polyphon, we can now play multiple notes, knowing for sure that each one is going to have a totally different sound. Let me just bring the decay down for this example. This crazy patch I've made might not be the best example for polyphon mode, so let me load up this Retro Rise RM preset in the keys folder, and we'll play some chords. You'll hear that each chord is different, even if I hit just one note over and over and over, we're getting another voice each time. So, a Prillo isn't just a monophonic unison powerhouse after all, with a bit of careful sculpting, you can play amazing chords with each note having a totally different sound. My name's Tom Cosm, and this is Sugar Bites, a Prillo.